Hello and welcome to this week's reading vlog. It is Tuesday, May 4th, and we have our live show tonight, but I wanted to update you guys on what I am reading. And I am in the middle, I've got like two hours left. Yeah, a little under two hours left of Shadow Kiss because I was in a reading slump in the month of April, so I decided to pick up Vampire Academy and I've made it to, re to uh, Shadow Kiss. So I'm gonna be finishing that one soon. I also wanted to go over some books that I have recently acquired. I have Counting Down With You by Tashi Buyen. I really hope, according to Google, that's how you say this, so I'm sorry if I messed up the last name. But uh, this is her gave you a novel, and okay, after trying to search through everything, I cannot remember <laughs> where I saw what this was about, but this came in at work, so I decided to grab it. It's YA, contemporary, and yeah. Basically, I'm going to be going into this one blind, but it looked good. I don't want to give you false information, so I'm not positive where I saw it. But she's all over Twitter, so that's where I like to see a lot of promos of her and her friends talking about this. So, I ended up picking this one up. Also, I snagged from work. An Emotion of Great Delight by Tara Mafi. I am very excited about this. I love her uh, Very Large Expanse of Sea. I wasn't a fan of Shatter Me series. But I loved Very Large Expanse of Sea. I loved seeing Muslim teen going through high school, dealing with racism and the struggles of it around 9-11 and how those microaggressions come out on anybody. So this one says that it is a companion of that one. It is not um, connected, but it is a companion of it. So I'm very much looking forward to this one. And like, look how beautiful this is. I know it's a little out of focus, but like, I love the background of it and you can't fully tell but there is like water droplets like shown on here and so I'm all I know about this one is, is it's supposed to be sad so I am super looking forward to that also something that is the opposite blackout I am super excited about this and I got the opportunity to do a author, like sit in on an, an author interview with these lovely women and I cannot wait. I'm so excited of them promoting. So I, I got this one from my work as well and I am like beyond excited. You guys don't know. So if you guys haven't heard about this one, this is a mix up of six different authors who are all discussing and celebrating black joy. Uh, it, it talks about a blackout happens in New York City, and the authors are Danielle Clayton, Tiffany D. Jackson, Nick Stone, Angie Thomas, Ashley Woodfolk, and Nicola Yoon. I am very excited about this one. It's gonna be so good, and it's like contemporary romance happiness, and I'm like, what is there not to love about this? And I, I love the messaging behind it that they wanted to put this out because they wanted black joy to be seen and have that story accessible to people. So I really like that, especially in <laughs> this world. I don't even wanna say these times because let's be real, this shit's been happening forever. But like in this world, it's so, the like guy just, I, I, go check this out when it comes out. This one doesn't come out until June. Same with this one, it doesn't come out until June. This one actually comes out today, so. Those are the arcs that I have recently acquired. I have also picked up The Mistake by Elle Kennedy. A while ago, you guys watched me read The Deal because Gabby had written in it and sent it to me for Christmas and I got to read it with all of her thoughts. This one, I mean, and it was a good time. It was like not the super best, but it was a good time. It was enjoyable. Plus I really liked reading it with her thoughts. So I, think I'm going to annotate this one and send it to Gabby. Uh, she doesn't know that yet, but I, I, that's what I'm planning on doing, I think. So, and then I think I may just pick up like the rest of them. If these are still good, I'm not like super thrilled about the premise of this one versus the other one, but this is all like hockey romance, like smut basically. So 
we'll see how this one goes. Next up is one I'm super excited to pick up and I really want to get to it like this month. And it is It Was Never Going To Be Okay by Jay Simpson. This is a poetry collection that I am super, super looking forward to as soon as I saw it, like at the beginning of the year. And I really want to champion this one. I haven't read it, so I don't know. But from the little snippets that I have seen, it already looks so good. I don't know the pronouns of Jay, so I am not going to speculate. I'm just going to give it a blanket statement of they. But it says, Jay Simpson debuts with a remarkable collection of words taking you through the poetic poetics of desire, kinship, and distinct failing. This selection of work cements their necessary place within the literary canon of queer indigenous script as a writer who's pivotal, 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 pivotal and articulate voices evokes the, that familiar sense of yearning, care, and ancestral knowledge with every page. That's someone who has like wrote a synopsis of it or a review on it. Basically, it's a poetry collection of trans indigenous stories or voices because it's from one person. But the little snippet that I've already read was incredible. I will say that, I mean, obviously if that material is sensitive to you or triggering, be weary of that because it could invoke, I mean, poetry already invokes such strong emotion in general for people. So take self care if that is something that you don't know if you'll be able to handle. I'm super looking forward to this one and I want more people to know about it. And I love the like, cover of it as well so that one that's what that looks like and i'll let you guys know what i think after i read it hopefully that will be super soon so i am in the middle of finishing up shadow kiss which i'm just gonna go through all of them like let's be real i'm gonna go through all of them i also have like the live show tonight but i do want to pick up book i also haven't filmed my may tbr which was planning on doing today but it's hard for me to pick up a book if I don't know if it's going to be with my TBR. So maybe I'll pick up a graphic novel or a poetry book because it's something short and I won't be invested if it doesn't go along with my TBR. So that's my plan for today and I will probably check back with you guys tomorrow. Hello and welcome to day two of the reading vlog. It's now Wednesday, May 5th and don't mind me like using my computer as my <laughs> lighting source but i wanted to update you guys i am about an hour away from finishing shadow kiss so i will finish that today and then i will decide what i'm gonna be picking up i foolishly did not film yesterday so i have no idea what is supposed to be on my may tbr but that's gonna happen soon but i in the meantime i decided to pick up loki and that's been really a lot of fun. I didn't realize, like, I knew that, like, Loki was snarky. This is my first Loki graphic novel I've ever read. I didn't realize that Loki was snarky, like, to the level of Deadpool. And that makes me, like, immediately put him in my favorites. This was a really good mashup. We definitely, obviously, got to see a lot of Thor mixed in here we got to see wolverine mashup which is cool and iron man so i was very pleased with like the cameos of um other heroes and there was mentions of spider-man but it didn't show up but this was a lot of fun i ended up reading a 3.5 out of 5 stars just because walking into this one there was confusion i mean they and they always do like like a little update on where you are in the universe so that's nice but walking into this one, never reading a Loki graphic novel before. And it doesn't say like, it just says there's no like numbers. I don't know if this is a series. But walking into this one, I was not aware of the events that transpired in the Marvel Universe before this. So I was very confused on like how we got to that point. So just be like warned because all I followed is the MCU. And this is definitely different than the MCU. So... There's that. I'm very excited for the show, so I wanted to um, amp up reading, and that's why I picked this one up. So, overall, good time. I definitely want to pick up more Loki now, because if he speaks like Deadpool, I'm here for it. There's also, like, little Loki tips, just like there's Deadpool tips in the Deadpool graphic novels. I really loved that nod, and, like, it talks about, like, breaking the fourth wall and stuff, too. 
overall a really fun time. 3.5 because I was a little bit confused, but that's not the graphic novel's fault. That's my fault <laughs> for not like paying attention. But it's not like as uh, easy to pick up type of thing. So, but I did enjoy it. So that is what I have finished already in May. And then I, I guess I'm gonna bring this one to work. I don't know, maybe not. But that is all for my update for Wednesday and I will check back in with you later. Hello, I promise this reading vlog will not just be from this chair. So I'm sorry about it. But yesterday I picked up People We Meet on Vacation because this one came in early and I wanted to pick it up and I just started reading it because, you know, I already have 140 books. Why not buy a new one? So I started reading this one yesterday. I'm already chuckling at it. If you guys couldn't tell, this is by Emily Henry. Um, she is the author of Beach Read and I really enjoyed Beach Read. If you are looking for a good Beach Read that is light and with great banter and wit, but it also touches on serious tones and it has to do with authors, pick up Beach Read. But this one is people we meet on vacation. I honestly don't remember anything about this. I just know it's one of my highly anticipated reads for the year and I liked Emily Henry's book and I recommend it all the time. So I wanted to pick up this one and I'm already enjoying it. I'm 12 pages in and I'm already chuckling at the dynamics between these two best friends. Um, but I have no idea what the trope is. From what I've gleaned from the first 12 pages is that she has an Instagram and so her best friend comes along with her on these trips and takes these pictures of her and she like reviews the, these different like places basically. So that's what I've got going on so far. I'm enjoying it. I'm gonna bring this to work. I finished Shadow Kiss by Rochelle Mead. That will never not break me. This is a horrible angle. My entire head is cut off. Sure, I think my head is still cut off, but we've switched angles. So, what was I saying? Oh, Shadow, Shadow Kiss will never not break me. I just love the whole thing so much. So, of course, five out of five stars for that. I like, can't get over it. So, I decided to pick up, I'll pop a picture up here because I'm too lazy to get the copy. Uh, Worst Best Man, The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa. I got through like quite a bit of this last night because I ended up repotting all of my plants. And I did not film that because I've never repotted a plant and I've had these plants for like, it was time. Let's just put it that way. Um, and I had never repotted them and I was terrified. So, for a good reason, because it broke off several stems, which may be very sad, but apparently you could just stick them back in the, I know nothing about plants. You can just stick them back in the plant, or in the soil, and it'll like sprout new shoots and, and be fine. So, anywho, I started The Worst Best Man last night that I had on hold for forever, apparently, at my library, and I got like 63% of the way through. I only had like little under three hours left and it got returned to the library. So now I am back at the starting grounds and I'm so irritated and I've got like nine weeks until six weeks, six weeks I think, until it gets checked back out for me, which is annoying. So that's where we're at with that. <laughs> and I guess I'm gonna probably pick up the next Vampire Academy because I tried, I figured like you guys don't want to see a reading vlog of just rereading things, especially Vampire Academy, which you guys know like I'm obsessed with. So I was trying to break it, like switch it up a little bit, but it was not working for me. Also, I tried listening to Song of Achilles yesterday. I like was like 10 minutes into it and I couldn't concentrate enough on it while multitasking and I need something that I can concentrate while multitasking. So that didn't work. I think that one's gonna have to be a physical read. So I'm gonna bring this along and read this on my breaks and then we will probably pick up whatever the next Vampire Academy is because tried and true, right? So this is going on and I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. Hello vlog, it is now Friday. 
I told you guys you weren't gonna just see me in the office. So <laughs> I just got done filming. I'm putting back my boyfriend's dice because I stole them for the TBR video that I just filmed. Also, if you haven't checked that out, it'll be the video before this one. And that was a lot of fun because we had a surprise guest in there <laughs> because of what I rolled. So make sure to check that out. I am pretty excited about this month's TBR and I feel, I don't know, it's like semi big, but I feel pretty confident in it. Besides the fact that I've already started a book and I'm already in the middle of reading that. So, whoa, it just got really dark so I should off light. Let's see if we can read, there we go. So, it is now 3.30 on Friday. I have to edit this video, or edit the, the TBR video and get that up like today, because that was the plan. And then I'm just gonna spend like the rest of the time reading and picking up my books that I'm gonna pick up. So I think that means that I am on hold for people we meet on vacation. I was only 12 pages in, but I was enjoying it. That may be like my workbook that I bring to work and that works out because the other ones, I, I wasn't reading anything else. I had read a comic book. So I'm gonna pick up probably, I'm gonna pick up something. I'll check back in. But remember how we said, we said we are in an agreement here that I wanted to get to this one. It so happens that I was able to roll and get it on my TBR, which is perfect. So that's what's going on. I'm gonna go edit that video really quick. Hopefully it's not too long. I mean, it is a 20 minute video, but hopefully the editing process doesn't take too long. And then I will check back in because we have some reading to do. Also, I started Blood Promise. Why am I constantly doing finger guns? What are you? Blood Promise. And I only have five hours left of that book now. So I'm in the process of reading that because nostalgia and I will never not love that, like that series. That's gonna be it. And I will check back with you guys in a minute. Hello, I hope that I am actually in focus. We're gonna go with it. So it is now Tuesday on the 11th. I have now finished Blood Promise. Four out of five stars just because I don't like the, I understand it, but I don't like the character development with both Dimitri and Rose. I've talked about it before. This is my fourth time reading this series. So uh, you guys already know my thoughts and I've done read-alongs. Anywho, that one's done. I have also finished Worst Best Man. I did this on audiobook and the premise of this is that our main character gets left at the altar. So she gets left by Andrew and Andrew tells his brother Max, who is in, they're constantly in competition, that he's bailing, sends him a text message, says what you made, or what you said really made sense to me last night. Please tell Lena that I'm, I can't do this basically. So Max has to then tell the bride-to-be on her wedding day that his brother's not showing up. So he takes all the heat from it and the blame because the text message says it's like what you said makes sense. I'm not going to marry Lena. Anyway, the pros on this one. I really liked the chemistry between the two main characters. So that's like the, the starting premise is that she gets left at the altar. She is then up for this big promotion and the people that she has to coordinate with that is up for this big promotion is the two brothers. So she chose to work with Max and she also decided to pretend that she doesn't know either one of them and made that decision. So they have to like pretend like they don't know each other and they have to basically like beat out her ex-fiance <laughs> and like add it for this promotion. And he is trying to get out of his brother's shadow. So it's a win-win for both of them. I really like the chemistry between Max and Lena. And I really like the aspects that they focus on her heritage in this one. I, I like all this like antics and the shenanigans that they get into. I think it's a very real relationship of the way that they are vulnerable with each other. 
what I did not like was this is a pretty raunchy book so like if you're into that great this was a bit over the top for me and I will say the ending killed it for me I was really enjoying it I could like get past some of the scenes that I felt like uncomfortable with but the end I was super annoyed super annoyed with the characters Gabby if you're watching this do not read this book because it will drive you nuts there is definitely the miscommunication trope in this book and it's not even necessarily technically miscommunication it's just when they could have been communicating and like being open with each other they chose to shut it down and like have issues so that drove me nuts i was really annoyed by that and that made me drop this down to a three this is not one that i will be rereading again which is a bummer because i really liked the um parts about her heritage and like they talk about like having spicy food so they, they talk about all of that um and and the culture and the dancing and the food and that's all really vivid and and was really cool i think that was like the highlight of it besides they do have good chemistry and i liked the vulnerable parts of it but yeah, I, this is not one that I will be keeping around, I don't think. It's probably going to be part of my unhaul, which is a bummer. Like, I wouldn't say... I, I wouldn't mind picking up more of Mia Sosa's books, but this one was not it for me. So, that's kind of a bummer with that. I then have started Blackout since I have that author event coming up on Thursday. So, I wanted to... Get a little snippet of it i am so far 53 pages in and i'm really enjoying it i it, so i think the way that it's shaping up they all have different characters but it's all interwoven with the families so far because i've only been introduced to four characters and they are all like they grow up in the same circle so it's all like interconnected and two of them are siblings so far this is really good and like it's such a like warm feeling type of book that I, I think I'm gonna fly through this. It's not very big either so I mean that's already 50 pages into it. Let's see how many pages. It's 200 and oh no yeah 243. So I probably probably will be picking this one up even more so but I am enjoying this one. I do have a few errands to run so I'm going to be listening to Spearbound, which is the next one in the Vampire Academy series. That one, I mean, I listen to my books at 1.6 speed, so I only have, that's an eight hour book, so I'm gonna get a good chunk of that done. But I'm hoping that my errands won't take me too long while I'm out and I can come back and read more of this because I really am enjoying this one. It's super cute. That is my Tuesday update. I will try to update you guys once more and then this will be the end of this reading vlog i'm not sure it's kind of weird for me to end it on tuesdays but i'm still trying to get down my editing uploading schedule hopefully if everything goes according to plan this one will be up on friday so let me know down below if there's anything you guys want to see in these vlogs if that's a good upload schedule because i'm starting to get back on track and being consistent knock on my fake wood that I have here because every time I say that it doesn't stay consistent but we'll see so that's my update I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit hey guys I realized I haven't wrapped this reading vlog up so that is what I'm going that is what I'm going to do it is now officially Wednesday and I need to start the next reading vlog but I am still reading blackout I am enjoying this one it just go pick this one up because you're going to want to read this one. Really cute contemporary. I like all of the different stories. There's so far two gay couples already in here. And it's very cute. I highly recommend. I've only read like, at like 80 pages. So I mean it could take a total nose dive. But so far it's like fun, happy, light, summery read that you're going to want to pick up. So definitely stay tuned. I will be telling you my thoughts in my next reading vlog. So just stay tuned for that one and that will be it for this reading vlog. Thank you guys for watching. If you have made it this far, leave a little sun emoji in the comments below. And I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.